from William Carey University in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Welcome to another edition of the Southern State Showcase just around the corner. John here, Nicole there, and it is that special time of year, tournament time. Yes, it is. The conference tournament is right around the corner, and we'll give you a preview of those games, and we'll also let you know what else is going on around the conference. The showcase starts right now. Southern State Showcase on Sports South is brought to you by Musco Lighting, Mississippi Gulf Coast, One Path Systems, and National Management Resources. From Hattiesburg, Mississippi and William Carey University, it is another round of the showcase, spring semester style. John here, Nicole there. We teased folks. It is a special time for basketball, the postseason tournament, Nicole. All the roads lead to Rome. Yes, they do. It's an exciting time for all the players. Finally put your hard work in to win that championship. For a little sneak peek, here's your tournament preview. After three grueling months of regular season games, it's finally tournament time, and all roads lead to Rome, Georgia. Both the men and women will square off, but only two teams, one from the men's side and one from the women's side, will call themselves conference champions at the end of the weekend. The women's side of the tournament will definitely be one to watch, as four of the 12 teams competing are ranked in the top 25 nationally. The West has been dominated by Belhaven and Loyola. Belhaven comes into the tournament with one of the nation's best players. Regina Jackson has received National Player of the Week honors twice this season, and she now looks to win a conference championship with her team. The Loyola Wolfpack are having their best season to date and are looking to claim their first SSAC championship. Very competitive and that was one of the things that uh, we looked at and we decided to come to the Southern States Athletic Conference. Uh, you know, Bellhaven is, is uh, ranked I think 13th, maybe 15th for the women. Our, our women are 20th, 19-2, and two, having the best uh, record, uh, best season in the school history. As for the East, the Lady Flames of Lee University have been on a tear all season. Led by sophomore guard Holly German, the Flames go into the tournament with a lot of momentum and high goals of bringing a championship back to Cleveland, Tennessee. Joining Lee on the east side is Shorter. While they've suffered a few tough conference losses, they have rebounded and have finished off the regular season on a positive note. It, you know, it's going to come down to kind of who's playing well at the end, and uh, we've been playing really well. I, I've been encouraged by the way we've played the last couple of weeks, and hopefully we can keep that going. Now on to the men. The east side of the conference is stacked with talented teams. Shorter, Southern Poly, and Lee have been ranked nationally all year. The Shorter men held on to the number one spot in the nation for some time this season, and with Walter Hill leading the way, the team is more than ready for any challenge that comes their way. First year head coach Tommy Dillon helped Southern Poly break into the top five this season, and he now looks to help them win a conference championship. And while Lee hasn't been ranked as high nationally, don't count them out. They have battled all season and are looking to make a deep run in the tournament. While the West doesn't have as many powerhouses as the East, it's still filled with quality teams. They have beaten each other up all year and are ready for tournament play. With a conference as strong as the SSAC, there are bound to be upsets. And what's a conference tournament without upsets? I just think that the SSAC is probably top to bottom as good or better than any uh, NAI conference in the country you know, in all sports. So. It's exciting. It makes you stay on your toes. You know in order to compete, you, you've got to put a product out there that, that's pretty good. So that's what we strive to do. It reminds me of the SEC. Everybody just beats up on each other. Uh, you know, it's such tough, tough, hard-fought games and, and great rivalries. Um, you know, the East and West, the, the cross division is, has brought about some really good games. Uh, and I'm just looking forward uh, to Rome, Georgia again and, and, and see what happens. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get in there and uh, you know, make a good showing. You know, I, I've said it from day one, I feel like every team in this league is really good and I don't feel like there's any nights where you can go out there and take a night off. It is a, a tough league and, and we just, you know, the bottom line is every night we go out we have to play well. 
I don't know about you, John, but I'm pretty excited to head to Rome next weekend for the conference championships. And we'll see who gets the automatic bids, and we'll let you know how that goes down next week as we report from Jackson, Mississippi. That is it for the A Block. We come back for the B. We'll let you know what else is going on here in the conference. The showcase continues after this. On the Mississippi Gulf Coast, the fish are still biting. Our casinos are as exciting as ever with 24-hour gaming and top name entertainment. Our golf courses are open for play and our seafood is as fresh as ever. There's plenty of fun for you and your family and we welcome you with open arms. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, open for business, open for you. Book your visit today. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Get in the game at playnaia.org. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. The number one can make or break a great game. One hit. And it's gone back. It is out of here. One goal. Yeah. One shot. Yeah. One second. When it comes to technology solutions, excellence is defined by one. One path competitively connected. One path is proud to be the sponsor of excellence for the Southern States Athletic Conference. If you're a fan of the Southern States Athletic Conference, then bookmark SSACSports.com. Visit daily for the latest results, news, standings, and webcasts. Follow your favorite teams and conference at SSACSports.com. Welcome back. Second segment here on the showcase in front of the Gillespie Museum of Art here on the William Carey campus. We're also in front of the statue, one of the predominant statues here on campus of the man himself, William Carey. It is now time to play Did You Know? with Nicole Morocco. Nicole, did you know when it comes to art and art history, William Carey University, when it comes to the state of Mississippi, is the place to be. They have over a thousand pieces of art in all of the buildings around campus. One building alone has 700 pieces. So if you're looking for art and art history in Mississippi, William Carey is the place to be. Well, John, I did not know that, but it's a great fact to know. So now it's time to play a little did you know with yourself. Okay. Did you know there's a lot of other things going on around the conference? Kennett, Pennsylvania freshman Doug LaRue is not your average freshman. He left Chippensburg College in Pennsylvania after his freshman year, the first time he attended college, and joined the Marines. Well, I was just a basic 18-year-old uh, kid. You know, uh, everybody else was going to college, so I went to college too. It just wasn't where I needed to be in life. And so that's when uh, I did one semester at Chippensburg. Uh, I think I failed every class, but my history class, one class I actually enjoyed attending, and then I decided to join the Marine Corps. My dad, my dad was a naval officer. It was pretty much built into me since I was a kid. You know, I was going to be in the service at some point or other, or I just stopped, you know, attending family reunions. So I chose the Marine Corps, and I loved it ever since. He served four years there, but then he saw opportunities associated with having a college degree. So he left the Marines and came to Mississippi, where his family had relocated, and now playing in the post at William Carey. Well, I, uh, I went to ICC immediately out of the Marine Corps to make sure I could do the academic thing, make sure I could handle classes. And then we were going to go to Southern because uh, they have one of the two nationally accredited marriage family counseling programs in the state. That's what my wife wants to do. So we were just going to both go there. And a random Google search, I found William Carey University, a school in Hattiesburg, found out it was NAIA, thought I could play this level, and I contacted Coach Knight via email. 
came and tried out for us la last spring while he was attending uh, Itawamba Community College. And um, we found out he had been in the Marines for five years, had uh, served overseas, and we were intrigued by him. We knew he'd be a disciplined player, big, strong kid. He's 6'6", six, six, about 225 pounds, works really hard. He has that discipline that uh, he got out uh, from the Marine Corps. Um, in the gym, 6.30 every morning, shooting baskets, goes down and lift, lifts weights, goes to class, lifts some more weights, gets ready for basketball practice, and uh, just been a pleasure to be around and a pleasure to coach. He's balancing 21 hours as a history major with averaging just under four points and three assists a game. You no, know, it's a post-Marine Corps. School is school, school. It's amazing how easy it is if you actually put your heart into it. I think everybody who ever had a problem in school, if they went back after holding a job for a couple of years, or just uh, develop themselves discipline-wise, maturity-wise, would find it the easiest thing in the world. His season high was 14 against Bruton Parker. He's got married, his wife's going to school at Mississippi State, and they have an eight-month-old together, and he is a shining example of what hard work can do in being a quiet leader. I believe uh, everyone is a leader, Rob, but uh, first year on, I kind of see it the same way I would see a chain of command if I was in the Marine Corps. When I'm the first, I'm the boot on deck, private on deck, first year here. I'm still trying to get back in the basketball game myself, and so I, I do I do believe in leadership from the front. Um, the players don't joke around with him too much. They know he's a serious guy, and uh, so he's, he has that respect from, from the guys, and, and they listen when he speaks, and uh, he is an encourager, and, which is very helpful for our younger guys. Next stop, the Winthrop King Center in Shorter University, where senior point guard Kelly Ellison has been named a 2012 Academic All-American. The business major from Columbus, Georgia, has a perfect 4.0 GPA. She's a three-time academic All-SSAC selection, a 2010-11 NAI Scholar Athlete, 2010-11 SSAC Female Honor Student Athlete, and was also honored as the NAI's 2011 Emil Liston Award winner. On the court, the two-time SSAC and NAI All-American is Shorter's all-time leader in assists and his fourth all-time in school history in steals. We caught up with Kelly to find out what it's like to balance the basketball and the textbook. Really, I think college is all about studying. So if you make time to study, even if it's just like a couple of, hour, couple of hours out of the day, then everything else will come. Like read what you're supposed to read, and then listen to the teacher when they're talking, go to class, and I think you'll be fine. And we also caught up with her head coach, Vic Mitchell, to find out what it's like to have Kelly as a part of the Shorter program. Yeah, most of the time, kids that are um, you know, very high caliber academic kids in the classroom. I mean, that, that says a lot about the way they go about things. They're, they're usually more driven. Uh, they're usually, um, as far as doing things on time, they're very conscientious about their work in the classroom and that transfers to their work on the court. And then ultimately they all have good basketball IQs as well and so you're able to do more offensively, you're able to do more right out of a timeout and they, they just retain stuff better. Higher character, I mean I think all those things come into play and a kid like Kelly that you know we were so fortunate that she transferred here after her first year at Stetson and, um, to, ha and to have your point guard as that person because they always say point guards like coach on the floor. Well, to have someone with the basketball IQ as well as the character and the academic standards that she set over here. I mean, it's been, we've, we've just been fortunate that she chose to come here. And she's in with a group of kids that uh, are very similar. And I, I think that in, encourages them to strive to achieve more and, and they put pressure on each other in a good way. And so it, there's, there's nothing bad about it at all, except sometimes the coach can't answer their questions. So, John, what do we have up next? B Block is done. C Block is coming up. That means we find out more about William Carey University as the showcase continues after this. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, 
and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. The number one can make or break a great game. One hit. And it's gone back. It is out of here. One goal. Yeah. One shot. Yeah. One second. When it comes to technology solutions, excellence is defined by one. One path competitively connected. One path is proud to be the sponsor of excellence for the Southern States Athletic Conference. On the Mississippi Gulf Coast, the fish are still biting. Our casinos are as exciting as ever with 24-hour gaming and top name entertainment. Our golf courses are open for play and our seafood is as fresh as ever. There's plenty of fun for you and your family and we welcome you with open arms. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, open for business, open for you. Book your visit today. If you're a fan of the Southern States Athletic Conference, then bookmark SSACSports.com. Visit daily for the latest results, news, standings, and webcasts. Follow your favorite teams and conference at SSACSports.com. Welcome back to the showcase. Moving on to the C Block now here at Milton Wheeler Field, home of the Crusaders. John, what do we have in store for this block? Faithful watchers of the show every week know that the C Block is time where we catch you up on each member institution in the SSAC. And so now it's time to let you know what else is going on here at William Carey. William Carey University has been in a state of expansion and rebuilding at the same time. Along with their conference partners at Loyola University of New Orleans, the Crusaders and the Pine Belt have been building with purpose. And at its heart of the growth, is the statement of purpose and the six points of the school's mission. We are an institution that seeks to produce uh, individuals who excel in scholarship, leadership, and service. And a couple of years ago, we added a phrase to that, in order to compete in a global society. Um, we also, uh, some years ago, there was a movement. It came from Europe and uh, swept this country and as far as faith-based institutions. They like to talk about integrating faith and learning, the integration of faith and learning. Well, we decided we wanted to go one step further. So we talk about the integration of faith and learning with living. And... Uh, we seek to produce a community of learners who seek to integrate faith and living and function in a global society. Well, it's, a, it's an institution that's small, a, a caring Christian environment. Uh, a lot of us grew up around this area. Hattiesburg area is growing, it's vibrant, it's a great college uh, city. And uh, we just uh, kind of got together, you know, and talked about things, and um, we just love it here. We can't see ourselves being anywhere else, and it's just a place where you can just grow as a person, and you know the one thing that you really can do is have an impact on that, the lives of your student-athletes, and that's what we try to do on a daily basis. And ever since Hurricane Katrina came through, the school has been on the move. The coastal campus is back over a thousand students, and the cosmetic recovery is on its way, but Cary is solidifying its place in Hattiesburg. We try to put ourselves in a position to be helpful. Two weeks ago, we just we hosted a, a basketball game here with the Harlem Ambassadors for the Habitat of Humanity, and um, they raised some money for 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 um, their area there. And so we're we're always willing to help. And when Katrina came through, it knocked a lot of people back, but everyone has pulled together with that good South Mississippi spirit and got back and, and, and fought back to get our city and, and our universities here back to where they were. 
As for being a hub for the arts in the state, the school is one of only 40 places chosen to host the celebration of the anniversary of the King James Bible. Add to that the multiple museums that house everything Mississippi has had to offer patrons who appreciate the written word or the painted thought or even music. And the King James space is a true treasure to the school. Not only are we um, showing the exhibit, but we have purchased uh, facsimile uh, copies of all of those old English Bibles from uh, the very first William Tyndale efforts uh, on down to the King James Version. So we've had, we've hosted 50 some church groups that have come to see it and worlds of individuals. The Lucille Parker Gallery uh, houses the works of uh, Lucille Parker who was a noted painter of Mississippi wildflowers. And it also uh, hosts exhibits. The South Mississippi Art Association always has its annual show there. Now, as we speak, we're hosting the high school art competition and have uh, nearly 100 works by high school students in the area. Athletically, the Crusaders couldn't be more pleased with their early returns in the southern states. And by King's admission, they come a long way from being the Mississippi State Women's College when it started in 1906. Even if the football team they had at the time got some wins in the state, the five sports added had paid instant dividends. In the first year of competition in the conference, every single one of our teams participated in postseason play. Golf, men's golf won the conference championship. Um, softball and soccer and I think uh, baseball and basketball um, were in conference tournaments and softball and men and women's soccer went on to NAIA playoffs so that's exciting and not too many people uh, join me yet but uh, I want to see football in this on this campus in a few years. We've actually had football twice in our history and never had a losing season. But it's the first year on campus for the student athlete that makes a difference for the school as it progresses from year to year and for the student long term. It's huge and, and also as an institution we require before graduation that a, a student athlete uh, well, all our students be able to uh, do a certain number of hours of, of um, service projects. So it kind of fits with, with the institutional um, thought process in, in that area as well. So what are the next decade or so around campus? Both A.D. Knight and President King see nothing but blue skies ahead. I think we're as, as, as good as we've, we've ever been. As far as total enrollment, we, you know, we're over 3,700 students. Uh, on three campuses, so we've got a lot of good things going and, and we just need to, to uh, continue to work hard on what we do the best and, uh, and that's providing a, an environment, good Christian education for, for our students. There's no other place like it, uh, a place where you can feel a part of a family and a community and where you'll be challenged to become your very best and yet supported while doing so. So Nicole, as you see a lot of activity going on here in the post-Katrina era, there's still a lot of building and a lot of growth going on here in Hattiesburg, so there's a lot of stuff to look up to here at William Carey. Yes, it is. Well, that's gonna do it for the C Block. Up next, the D Block will tell you where we're headed for our next show, but first, the Players of the Week. The Players of the Week at the conference level for the week of February 20th are as follows. In men's basketball, it was Ryan Westbrooks of Lee. Westbrook scored 27 in an upset win over then number four Southern Poly. He was 10 of 14 from the field, 3 of 4 from beyond the arc, and perfect at the free throw line where he is currently ranked number two nationally at 88%. He also had 20 points against number nine Mountain State. In women's basketball, it's Regina Jackson of Bellhaven. She led the Blazers to a pair of wins in their second consecutive SSAC Conference West Division title after the team defeated Faulkner. Jackson also surpassed the 1,000 career points mark in a 39-point effort against Loyola. Jackson continued to lead the NAIA in points per game and total points with 638. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. 
desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Get in the game at playnaia.org. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. On the Mississippi Gulf Coast, the fish are still biting. Our casinos are as exciting as ever with 24-hour gaming and top name entertainment. Our golf courses are open for play. And our seafood is as fresh as ever. There's plenty of fun for you and your family. And we welcome you with open arms. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, open for business, open for you. Book your visit today. All those are our national rankings as we get one week closer to the postseason in basketball. Time to put a bow on yet another show here at the Kennedy Sports Complex on the William Carey University campus with a little help from the Lady Crusaders softball team. Where are we heading next time? Next week we're headed to Jackson, Mississippi where we'll take a look at Bellhaven University and we'll also name a few conference champions. So make sure you come back next week for the showcase. Mississippi Gulf Coast, the fish are still biting. Our casinos are as exciting as ever with 24-hour gaming and top name entertainment. Our golf courses are open for play and our seafood is as fresh as ever. There's plenty of fun for you and your family and we welcome you with open arms. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, open for business, open for you. Book your visit today. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. At a time when sports are heading in the wrong direction, the NAIA is changing the culture of sport. Through the Champions of Character program, with the support of Buffalo Funds, our college students are learning character traits that change behaviors, and they're bringing the message to coaches, 
parents and teens nationwide. Visit NAIA.org and learn how your team can become champions of character.